can't see a damn thing. I think it's broken. My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Ahoy, mateys! It was some time in the 19th century that Roberto Cofresi, a pirate from Puerto Rico, was rumored to have served his crew a morale-boosting concoction of rum, pineapple juice, and coconut milk, the very first pina colada. So the story goes. Roberto Cofresi, well, he worked at sea at an early age, but he was poor, and the political and economic difficulties at the time didn't make his life any better. So he decided to become a Caribbean pirate. On one occasion, Cofresi plundered at least eight vessels and was credited with over 70 captures. According to 19th century reports, he had a rule all his own, a rule of engagement, that when a vessel was captured, only those willing to join his crew were permitted to live. Despite never confessing to murder, he reportedly boasted about the number of people who died as a result of his pillaging. It was somewhere between 300 and 400. That's a hell of a lot of people, man. It took a long time to capture Cofresi because the people on the coast of Puerto Rico are said to have protected him from the authorities because he shared his spoils with the needy. Kind of like a Puerto Rican Robin Hood, stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Maybe that's one of the reasons they built a monument to El Pirata Cofresi. It was in March of 1825 the pirates were captured and executed by a firing squad. And the recipe for the original piña colada, well, it disappeared into the lore of history. Now there have been many claimants on the original piña colada recipe since then. Like Ramon Monchito Marrero. He was working at the bar at the Hilton in San Juan back in 1954. Then there was Ricardo Garcia, another bartender at the Hilton. He claims to have come up with the recipe during the Coconut Cutters Union strike in 1954. Could you imagine, I mean, two bartenders battling it out? I invented this, I am ar. Then there's Ramon Portas Mingot's story. Well, he states he came up with the drink in 1963 while working at the Barachina restaurant in Old San Juan. The Pina Colada was officially named Puerto Rico's national beverage on July 10th, 1978. Pina Colada Day is celebrated annually in Puerto Rico and, and the United States on July 10th. In Spanish, Pina Colada simply means strained pineapple. Now yeah, let's make a strained pineapple. Arr! Okay, arr! Arr! Today we're going to be making an El Pirata Colada. You know, there's a lot of variations with a piña colada. Today, we're gonna to make it this way. Hey, I'd just like to introduce uh, my little parrot friend here. This is Pepe, Pepe the Parrot. Hey, Pepe, uh, you know why you can't play cards on a pirate ship? Well, let me tell you, the captain is always standing on the deck. Now normally, you uh, make a pina colada with white rum, but we're gonna do it with dark rum. And it's got a lot more flavor than white. So we want two ounces. Next, we want some, hang on, I can't see shit. There, oh boy, let there be light. Where the hell is it? Right here, Malibu. We want, a, <laughs> we want an ounce of Malibu. That's our coconut rum. Next, we're gonna follow it with uh, two ounces of pineapple juice. Perfect. And half an ounce of orange juice. And we got uh, half a lime. We're gonna just squeeze in there. What we want is about, uh, about a quarter ounce or so. 
half ounce in around there. That looks pretty good. Now we've got two ounces of coconut milk. Perfect. And an ounce of half and half. Just to thin it out. Then we want a half an ounce to three quarter ounce of simple syrup. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's add some ice and give this a shake. Slap a lid on and give her a good shake. Like a pirate! Wait. That's better. Shake it! Arr! <laughs> Arr, mateys. You're gonna like a pina colada. I'll make you one of these. If you kill for me, ha ha. You kill for me. Okay, and we've got a little, wonderful little glass there. We're just gonna strain this rat out into it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sweet. All we wanna do now is just garnish it with a little fresh pineapple and a cherry. And why not <laughs> our classic and a couple straws, and we're in. Roberto Cofresi, you are a genius. It's delightful. Mm. Well, folks, if you're feeling adventurous, on the high seas and try this version or make a traditional one. Cheers. Mmm. It's good. Today we're going to be making an El Pirata cocktail. You know you lost your bird, right? Oh, I must have scared him off. Anyway, we're gonna make an El Pirata cocktail and... <laughs> Today we're gonna make some parrot soup. Hey, Bruce here. Check out some of these past episodes and make sure you subscribe or you'll miss out on all the fun. Yeah, we have fun here. You're going to miss it out, man. For more drinks and recipes, check out bartalkandcocktails.com.